professional wrestling descends upon Orlando, Florida this coming weekend. It is WrestleMania week. We have a ton of stuff to talk about as far as indie news is concerned. So let's get straight into results. Kevin Hawk, what happened at AIW's Gold for the, for the Gold, Gold 12? 12. Yeah. Um, Eddie Kingston beat Swaggle. Damn it. I thought Sorry. for sure Swaggle had it. Uh, Ethan Page defeated Colt Cabana. Alex Daniels defended the Intense Championship against Sean Schultz. Dominic Green defeated BJ Whitmer. And then, in the submit or surrender match. Yes. And then BJ Whitmer gave a farewell address to AIW. No more BJ Whitmer in AIW. I guess not. I wonder if BJ Whitmer is like getting ready to hang him up. You know, I've, I feel like he's going to help out with uh, Delirious and Brutal Bob at the uh, ROH Dojo. Probably. Uh, team 2 Infinity won back the Tag Team Championships, defeating Crazy Pain, the Ninja Elite Squad, and DJ Z and Laredo Kid in a four corners tag team match. All right, then. Uh, Scott Norton defeated Joey Janela. Holy shit. Tim Donst. My boy. This, this is such a, this is a great story. Two years to the day after having to relinquish the absolute championship because he thought he wasn't going to be able to wrestle ever again because he was going to have a kidney removed. Tim Dost wins back the absolute championship in a triple threat match against champion Josh Prohibition and the other challenger Tracy Williams. That's fantastic. And then we had the 30-person battle royal gauntlet style for the goal, in which Lewis Linden beat everybody. Everybody? Everybody. Who's everybody? Everybody. Not particularly in this order, unless they did a funny thing where they alphabetized the order. <laughs> that probably didn't happen. No. Uh, the other participants were Alex Daniels, Alex Keller, Bobby Beverly, Brian Carson, Britt Baker... Cheech, Colin Delaney, Dick Justice, DJ Z, Dominic Garini, Dr. Daniel C. Rockingham, Eddie Kingston, Eric Ryan, Ethan Page, Evan Adams, Facade, Joey Janela, Laredo Kid, Marion Fontaine, Matt Classic, Matthew Justice, Mike Tolar, PB Smooth, Russ Myers, Ryan Kaplan, Sean Schultz, Steve Payne, T Money, and The Duke. It might have been alphabetical order because I did see a screenshot of Matt Classic facing off against Marion Fontaine. So. Yeah. There's a chance. Who knows? But so so Lewis Linden now gets a title shot at Absolution Twelve. Yeah. Uh, against potentially Tim Donst. Tim fucking Donst. Tim motherfucking Donst. I'm just excited about that. It is. So it's another reason to bust out the Tim Donst. It is. It is really cool. All right, and then I have Ring of Honor Television, the ROH TV debut of the Hardys. Yeah. Defending their newly won ROH Tag Team titles. But first, we had a congratulations kind of scenario for Christopher Daniels in his first ROH title run. Uh, him and Frankie talking about how they tricked the Bullet Club and that now Christopher Daniels looks to Supercard of Honor where he will defend his championship against Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle came out, enjoyed an apple teeny along the way. Oh my day. god, did he love the apple teeny? He tea. loved the apple teeny. Christopher! <laughs> His reaction to that drink was fantastic. Uh, so they, they all kind of get buddy buddy, and then the super click ends up coming out. Uh, having an issue, Adam Cole talking about he's going to get his championship back. Frankie throws down the challenge. There's three of you, there's three of us. Why don't we have a six man main event? And we do. We'll talk about that in a second. Kenny King challenged Marty Skrull for the television championship. Um, now, is this a throwdown for Supercard, or was this for like no, next week? No, uh, because... Probably next week on ROH TV. Depending on what happens at Supercard of Honor, because at Supercard of Honor, a spoiler for our upcoming shows, Adam Cole is facing Marty Skrull for uh -huh. the television championship. So, we'll see what happens there, but eventually... Kenny King and Marty Skrull will face each other in... I thought Gazarian should have fought Marty Skrull there. No, uh, Adam Cole won a... Uh... Oh, what was it? Adam Cole won something first. Mm. Um, and was potentially going to be a double champion. Then lost the title to Daniels. So now he gets his shot. But... 
Frankie has a guaranteed title shot somewhere down the line because he won the Six Man Mayhem. Yeah. And Kenny King is just a loud mouth, so Marty Skrull's like, sure, I'll face you. Because Marty Skrull Marty Skrull will face anybody. But then we had our matches where the Hardy Boys defended and retained their ROH Tag Team titles against them boys, the Briscoes, in a match where there was a couple times I thought the Briscoes were actually going to win the thing. Uh, if, if not because of the wrestling, just because... I felt maybe like the Hardys were going to lose because of exhaustion. Yeah. It's been a long road for the Hardys. But I, I, mean, I if, if you go back all the way to the beginning of the Hardys wrestling careers, you couldn't like, you couldn't stop them. Prior I'm I'm prior to WWE. I'm talking like when they started wrestling with each other in their yard and mm-hmm. Cameron. It's like 23 years of wrestling. Yeah. Pretty much non-stop for these guys. I gotta say, they're still in pretty good shape, and they oh, can yeah. still they can still put together fantastic matches. But ain't as fast as but they yeah, to be. the years are showing, especially on Jeff. Uh, Jeff has significantly slowed his style down, uh, but still a great match with the Briscoes. And they're uh, puffing and puffing and deleting them down. Yeah, uh, <laughs> backslide uh, on Mark Briscoe. And then a uh, leg drop alligator clutch from Jeff Hardy retained the ROH Tag Team titles. And then the Bucks came out and challenged because they do get their return match at Supercard of Honor. Yeah. They threw out the challenge and it has been accepted. It will be a tag team ladder match. Holy moly. So, yeah. Then we had our six-man Please main event. Please don't die. Please don't die. Where the Super Click took on Castle and the Addiction. A fun, just spots galore. Or party peacocks. The part, yes. Uh, never mind. I was gonna no, no. Moving on. Peacock uh, teenies. <laughs> no. Um, Bob and peacock. <laughs> stop it. This match was all over the place. Uh, some fu- fun. Some funny spots. Some the interference from the boys. Yeah, was fun. yeah. The the boys getting involved with the bucks was funny, and then just there was just. Everything happening in this match. But after Daniels hit a springboard moonsault to the outside, taking out the Young Bucks, uh, Adam Cole was hit with Bangarang by Dalton Castle, and Castle and the Addiction pick up the six man tag team win. Which could be f- like foreboding for Christopher Daniels. Yeah. Because Dalton Castle seemed to like easily, without hesitation, put away the guy Daniels had to beat for the championship. That's true. So, but he couldn't have done it without Daniel's help. Yeah. By taking out the Bucks. So we'll see but, what I mean, happens. Castle had a pretty good handle on the Bucks himself too, though. Because I mean, he was German suplexing everything that was within arm's grasp. Yes, yes, he was. But that is it for results. We are foregoing news this week. Yeah, because, for the sake of speed. Holy shit! Do we have some upcoming shows? Yeah. For WrestleMania weekend, all kinds of stuff happening. Starting on the 30th, Kevin Hawk, what do we have? Uh, spoiler, with the exception of the last show, these are all in the greater Orlando metro area. Yes. Just to forgo coming up with like the little names of the different suburbs of Orlando we're going to, just think Orlando. Yes. Uh, most of these are all in conjunction with uh, WWN Lives more than Mania Weekend. Yeah, yeah. If you go, uh, if you go to, you know, we'll even we'll add that to our description this week. Go to morethanmania.com and you'll get tickets for pretty much all of these shows. All of these shows and more. Yes, because there are a couple of shows we're not covering. Kaiju Big Battle is going to be there. Joey Janela's Spring Break is another. It's an actual wrestling show. There's going to be matches uh, and stuff. Uh, Rev Pro is going to be there. Uh, yeah. yeah, lots of stuff is happening. So, on the 30th, what do we got? Starting with Thursday the 30th, uh, Evolve 80. All right. Uh, Ethan Page versus Austin Theory. Jocka versus Jason Kincaid. Timothy Thatcher versus Chris Dickinson. Ricochet versus Keith Lee. Drew Galloway versus Matt Riddle. Uh, Catchpoint defending the Tag Team Championships. That's uh, Tracy Williams and Freddie. Uh, defending against... Uh, What'd you write down? It's uh, Michael Elgin and Donovan Dijak. Wow. A.K.A. L-Jack. L-Jack. 
And then Zack Sabre Jr. defending his newly won Evolve Championship against ACH. Hell yeah. The next night on the 31st, we start with... Do it. Chikara! Yeah, with left turn. Yes. Uh, Campeonatos de Parejas defended. Uh, as Crumbles and Defarge defend against full price chocolate and half price vanilla, Chuck <laughs> Taylor and Dustin. <laughs> uh, the Cyberhawks will take on the Closers in another tag team match. Uh, we got a five person Atomicos, five against five Atomicos yeah. match. Uh, Juan Francisco de Coronado, Juani, the Hermit Crab, the Cajun Crawdad, and Murloc. So, Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco de Coronado, and a whole bunch of nautical themed creatures. Yes. <coughs> versus the Furies, which is Ophidian, Fire Ant, uh, Icarus. Icarus, Travis Huckabee, and Solo Darling. Yes. And then we're going to have another tag team match. So many tag team matches. I'm with Missile Assault Man and Silver Ant. All if right. Th that's an intense combination. I'm just saying, are going to be taking on the Legion of Rot, and then Ultra Mantis Black, the Grand Champion of Chikara and non-title action, is going against Gredo. 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 Also on the 31st, we're going back to Evolve with Evolve 81. Uh, Timothy Thatcher takes on potential champion ACH. Uh, Drew Galloway will take on Leo Rush. Uh, the team I like to call Doom Sauce, which is Chris Dickinson, Jaka, and Tracy Williams, will take on Jason Kincaid, uh, Austin Theory, and what's the Guevara guy? Oh, uh, Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara. I can't. I couldn't remember his first name. Uh, Keith Lee versus Donovan Dijak, Fred Yehi versus Matt Riddle, and then in if Saber retains, it's still considered a non-title match. But it's going to be Zack Sabre Jr. versus Michael Elgin. Alright. Moving on to the first and 31st yes. break in the middle of my stuff yeah, is get, your stuff. I'm going to give you a chance to <coughs> call me F down because in on top of the... Uh, we got a, I mean, WrestleCon, there's all kinds of stuff going on. You've got, you've got a, a kickoff party with uh, JR, Ric Flair, and Sting. Uh, you've got RevPro there. Uh, you've got WrestlePro. You've also got the WrestleCon Super Show on the 31st. A couple matches announced the 20-person WrestleCon Rumble. Bobby Lashley versus Jeff Cobb in Who Can Throw Who Farther. And Hardy's ta uh, take on Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix. Uh, there's also uh, a bunch of other names listed to appear. Two Gold Scorpio, Trevor Lee, Muscarina Dorada, Shannon Moore, Shane Strickland, Johnny Mundo, Andrew Everett, Caleb Conley, Ricochet, ACH, Jack Evans, Brian Kendrick, not Brian Kendrick, Brian Cage, and Helico, Sammy Callahan, Vampira, and Drew Galloway. There's also going to be a women's super show on the first. Uh, no actual matches announced, but scheduled to appear are Tessa Blanchard, Deanna Perrazzo, Taylor Hendricks, Ali Impact, Taya Valkyrie, Santana, Kennedy Brink, Sue Young, Nevia, Chelsea Green, Leva, Leva Bates, Jade, Rachel Ellering, Indy Hartwell, Hudson Envy, Thunder Rosa, Jazz, and Renee Michelle. But on the first, in Lakeland, Florida, Supercard of Honor 11 from Ring of Honor. Uh, we have some Women of Honor matches uh, kicking off the show. Mandy Leone and Jenny Rose take on, or, I left a name out. There's a tag team match there. It's Faye Jackson and somebody else. I don't remember who it is. So we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. We also have Kelly Klein versus Deanna Perrazzo. Then Watch we out get, for that, Kelly Klein. Yeah. She's, she's pretty badass. She's scary. Uh, then we move on to the actual card. What was supposed to be for the six-man tag team titles have ju has just become a tag team match uh, due to TKO Ryan uh, breaking his shin at the 15th anniversary. So the Kingdom's Matt Taven and Vinny Marcella will take on uh, Silas Young and the Beer City Bruiser. Frankie Kazarian takes on Punishment Martinez. Will Ospreay and Volodar Jr. take on Dragon Lee and Jay White in tag team action. Uh, due to uh, a couple of the Japanese guys, uh, New Japan guys, being unable to get their visas in time, uh, this match was announced, which is going to be pretty badass, but the Bullet Club's Gorillas of Destiny and Hangman Page take on the Briscoes and Bully Ray. That'll be intense. 
A bull rope match between Cody and Jay Lethal. I'm really looking forward to that one. The TV title, as I said earlier, Marty Skrull defends against Adam Cole, baby. Tag team ladder match, the Hardys defend against the Young Bucks. And for the world title, Christopher Daniels defends against Dalton Castle. Is this an iPay-Per-View? It might be. I will go on ROH while well, you continue to talk about your stuff. It needs to be an iPay-Per-View because I want to watch it. It might be. For real. I mean, that's... We got all kinds of stuff to watch this week. That's a fucking sick card. It's a badass card. I'm just going to be real. All right, go for it. I'll Uh, I'll, I'll find out. Picking up on Saturday the 1st, CZW starts a two-night tournament. So without saying anything else, it's going to continue on later. Yes. The best of the best, 16. Yeah, it's it's, it's a two-day tournament. First round and some extra matches are all on the first. Yeah. Uh, Jason Cade, Ricochet, AR Fox, and David Starr. These are first round matches, four way eliminators. Uh, will be in the first one. The second match will be Sammy Callahan, Phoenix, and Jake and Dave Christ on opposite sides. Um, Not an eye pay per view. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> then on the third match, it's going to be Scorpio Sky, Michael Elgin, uh, Zachary Wentz, and Anthony Henry. And then in the fourth and final eliminator, Shane Strickland, Joey Janela, Leo Rush, and Desmond Xavier. It's a lot of really good talent <coughs> in those tournament matches. Uh, on top of that, we're going to have Father Matthew Tremont. Changes his name like every CZW show now. Uh, versus Pentagon Jr. Uh, there's going to be a five-person Ultimate Opportunity Challenge, or whatever it's called. Ultimate Opportunity Jackpot. Yeah, Ethan Case, Stop. Ricky Champage, Alexander James, Caleb Conley, and Ace Austin are going to be in that one. A lot of multi-man matches. They're like, let's jam as many people yeah. into this weekend as possible. This world title match, though, should be interesting. Yeah, the CZW Championship. Uh, Chainsaw Joe Gacy defending against Cage. Yeah. The machine, Brian fucking Cage. Good that- job. Or good luck, Joe Gacy. Yeah. Uh, then also on the first, Beyond Wrestling presents Caffeine. Uh, with Deanna Peraza versus Lefisto, A.R. Fox versus John Silver, The Hit Squad versus the Unbreakable FM Machines, Cage and Michael Elgin. That's a lot of big dudes in <laughs> one match. Yeah. Uh, Janela B holding an open challenge, Donovan Dijak versus Matt Riddle, and Jeff Cobb versus Keith Lee. All right. Uh, then also on Saturday the 1st, Shimmer 91, this is an eye pay per view. Yes, yes it is. Uh, with Santana Garrett versus Shayna Baszler. Uh, Dolce Garcia, a.k.a. Sexy Star, versus Kellyanne. Vanessa Craven and Tessa Blanchard defend the tag titles against Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray. And then Mercedes Martinez will defend the Shimmer Championship against Candice LeRae. Alrighty then. And also on Saturday the 1st, we have Chikara again! Presenting Bad Wolf. Yeah. Um, five matches announced for this one. Jeremy Leary Daddy versus Ophidian. Go Uh, Ophidian. Yeah. Uh, Again. Four corners elimination tag match. Uh, the Colony, Los Ice Creams, uh, Travis Huckabee, and Solo Darling, and uh, the Legion of Rot. Yes. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Max Smashmaster. <laughs> the, if, if there was ever a clash of styles in Chikara, this is it. I'm just interested to see how, if Max Smashmaster can wrestle. The, well... If he can't wrestle against Zack Sabre Jr., he can't wrestle at all. <laughs> if he didn't know how to wrestle, he fucked. Yeah. Just saying. Space Monkey will defend his first defense of the Young Lions Cup Championship against Wani. <coughs> and then Ultra Mantis Black will also be defending his title, the Grand Championship of Shakara, against... Canada? Juan Francisco de Coronado. Fuck. Forgot that was a thing. Um, and finally, that's it on the first. Hey! I mean, I'm sure I enjoyed Janela Spring Break might also be on the first, but I don't know. Uh, how about the second? WrestleMania! Just kidding. Uh, we're gonna talk about that in a uh, different, different video. video. Uh, but Attack Pro! Is having a show. Yeah. On the second. Uh, with My Sacrifice. My Sacrifice. Yeah, well, I think is having a show this weekend in the Orlando area. Well, Culture Pro Wrestling, I think, is doing a show. 
Oh, I'm not surprised. Uh, which is crazy because thinking of how many people they're flying over to do a show. True. Because it's like all what culture people. Oh yeah, and it's, it's going to be in Orlando. I think so. Oh, cool. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, might be headlined with Ellie Garo versus Christopher Daniels. Don't quote me on that. Um, quote him. Attack Bro, my sacrifice. <coughs> we have uh, Mike Bird and the Wild Boar taking on the Brothers of Obstruction. Uh, Morgan Webster versus Charlie Sterling. Drew Parker versus Elijah Dahl in an Extreme Rules match. Uh, the Warren versus Shea Purser for the was the twenty four seven yeah the yeah the Attack Pro twenty four seven championship. Uh, they have had some issues over that belt. Yeah, they they had a they had a big old kerfuffle at the last uh, Attack show. So. Now they're just making it official. This is like the tiebreaker, I think, because they yeah. traded the title. Uh, tag Team Championships on the line. Bola Brava versus Hashtag CCK. And Chief Deputy Dunn defending the Attack Pro Championship against Eddie Dennis. Yes, former champion. Pride of Wales? Prince of Wales. Prince of... Princey Pride of Wales. It's the Pride of Wales. You always say Prince. It's the Pride. I said Pride first this time. Good job. You still went back to Prince, though. Because I never remember which one it is. It's Pride. He's the Prince of Pride Wales. He's the prideful Prince of Wales. That's it for indie news. Yeah, it is. That was... A lot of words. It's a lot of shows. So, uh, if you notice something slightly off about next week's indie news, is we're actually going to be recording, potentially just uploading like three smaller versions of indie news next weekend. As we will talk about, uh, Friday we'll do the Thursday and Friday shows, Saturday, Saturday shows, Sunday we'll do the Sunday shows, uh, and they'll either be three smaller videos or one giant video full of results. With us changing outfits, and, repeatedly. Yes. Uh, and we're only going to have like two upcoming shows for the next week, so. Which will be okay with me. It'll be, yeah, after, after this weekend it's going to be worth it. But... There's going to be so much happening this week, so... Because on top of all those, we've got WrestleMania. we got NXT TakeOver. We have all of our regular reviews. Uh, we're, going to be starting, we're going to be posting a lot more content over on Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Hell yeah. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click all the links... Especially the people that we just got done talking about. Mm -hmm. We're going to add the... Uh, more than mania, more than mania, and the WrestleCon uh, websites down there. So if you are in the Orlando area or you're <coughs> going right there, you can still get tickets for a lot of these things. Uh, so check those out. Check out for any other types of information you want. Check out all the links for all these people. Uh, if you're going to be there, I suggest going to the More Than Mania website and buying tickets. The general admission VIP package. Uh, essentially, it's just the tickets for all the shows, general admission tickets. Uh, but when you combine them all together, it's $199.99. That's about 15% off face value for all the general admission tickets. And that, I mean, 200 bucks for that many shows? Yeah, because that gets you to the... That's a good fucking deal. Mercury Rising, uh, which is another one we didn't cover. Both of all the shows, I think both Chikara shows and the Shimmer show. Yeah. So and Joey Janela's Spring Break and Kaiju Big Battle and beyond. Yeah. So look into that. Uh, stay over here on this YouTube channel because we are going to be posting a lot of stuff. All the go home shows to WrestleMania and Takeover, uh, along with those reviews as well. Uh, you can check out the regular reviews this week. You'll actually get NXT predictions in podcast form over on SoundCloud, but it's only it's very rare that you get that. But you want to stay over here for our WrestleMania predictions our WrestleMania review, and all of the indie stuff we just got talking about, got done talking about. And the March Top 5. And the March Top 5. Jesus fucking Christ. There's so he much. He didn't realize that one was happening. There's so, mu there's, there's so much happening. It's all going to happen. It's happening this week. Right here on the Black Couch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in all the videos that you're going to watch this week, right? Right? Thanks, guys. Fuck Jim Cornette. Yeah, you gotta look at him on Friday. <laughs>